two caveats. One, I am not an architect. And second, this is kind of a self-serving question. Um, Ritchie Center, Newman Center, Cable Center, at the University of Denver in the last few years, all these new buildings that have been created, um, is any building worth looking at or thinking that uh, in your estimation is worthwhile as an architectural kind of asset? Well, these are the toughest questions I've been asked. Uh, <laughs> um, you know, I, I think uh, Cab Childress was hired by Dan Ritchie, and I'm sorry I didn't have any of, of, of those buildings in the, in the show. But Cab Childress, uh, who is a, a very significant architect, worked for Bill Muchow um, for a number of years. Um, what he was charged to do is create a fabric within the campus that, you know, if I went to the University of Illinois, I can describe mentally what made that campus successfully. It was the brick, it was the architecture, the style. The buildings all fit together, and there are a lot of campuses. The University of, of Colorado is exactly that. They have standards, and, and the University of Denver was lacking that. And so CAB was charged with bringing a staff in and make that all happen. And then um, he took those, and guidelines are, are exactly that, guidelines. That doesn't mean that you can't go one way or the other. And he brought a high level of creativity to it. And I think those buildings are very successful. If you think about what the Ritchie Center is, I mean, it's a big old field house, right? And it really could have been pretty ho-hum. It could have been something that is a, a pre-engineered warehouse or something of that sort. And yet, he made it a significant landmark on campus. He made it a destination. He made it something that people were, are going to be very proud of. And as he called them, 200-year buildings, that they will be here uh, for quite some time, and uh, I, I, I think he really did a tremendous uh, effort for the University of Denver in their campus, and uh, those, those are great buildings. Yes? You showed several high schools that were built in the 20s that are magnificent buildings. If you've looked at any of the schools that we built in the last 50 years, None of them were on your list. How much more expensive would it be to build uh, an East High School, uh, West, North High School type building today versus the junk they're throwing up? <laughs> so, so if you couldn't hear the question, he, he basically, why aren't we building better high schools today, uh, much like North High School and, and East High School? And that's a, that's a great question. And quite honestly, when we were working on North High School, uh, there was a group that said, let's bulldoze it and let's start over because I can build it for less money than you can restore it. And we said, no, you can't because this building has bones. This has great bones. And what you're going to build won't have great bones and regardless of who the architect is. And, and so we went back into the community and we found all the great reasons why that school was significant. And we had the alumni come to us and tell us what they enjoyed about that school. We went back and recreated that. So tradition and history is something that's very important to those buildings that new schools don't have. But it's also, you know, it's public taxpayer money. And it's hard to get people to support uh, spending the additional dollars that it takes sometimes. Now, we've had some great high schools built in, in the suburban areas. Um, Dakota Ridge is one that, that comes to my mind uh, that uh, Brian Clip did. Uh, David did um, at, at Regis, I think, high school. Um, so there, there are some great school buildings that have been done, but it does cost a little bit more, just like the DU buildings. I mean, the, the Ritchie Center could have been really a simple building built for about half the cost. But there was that conviction, that important, that this building needs to be here for a long time. It needs to be the heart of the community. We need to be proud of it, and we want our great-grandchildren to go there, not our children, we want our great-great-grandchildren to go there, and they will be proud of it. And we need to think in bigger picture, you know, longer term. And, uh, and yes, it does cost a little bit more, but not double. You know, we're talking 10% um, or 20% max, but more like 10% to do significant architecture that will be here 
for a longer period of time. Thank you, Dennis.